Welcome back to the January edition of the Library Road Show. Now, when you think Louisiana cuisine, you'll likely think of my next guest. He's one of the best chefs in the state, an entrepreneur, media personality, philanthropist, and author. It's Chef Sean Foltz. Joining me now on the phone. Hi, Chef. Hey, how are y'all doing? Uh, nice to be with you. Happy New Year to you. Chef Foltz, I've enjoyed your books over the years. How many titles have you authored to date? Uh, oh, how many books do I have? Wow. Uh, well, let me see. I've authored, I think, about eight books so far. The first, Hooks, Lies, and Alibis, will also be a television show. We're going to be shooting that for PBS. After the Hunt, of course, the hunting book. The Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine is my hottest title, uh, uh, going into most culinary schools around the country as well. A really great book. It's also been a television show. And then Hot Beignets, Something Old, Something New, a Louisiana Sampler, Plantation Celebrations, uh, Evolution of Cajun and Creole Cuisine. All of those have been really uh, fantastic books. And, of course, I'm going to be doing a new book for next year, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Vegetable Cookbook. I should say this year because it's going to be uh, uh, coming out for, uh, uh, for Christmas. You have some exciting news about the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine. Tell us about that. Yeah, some exciting news. I do have some exciting news. The ebook is, uh, well, it's been available since December the 17th of last year. And, of course, uh, it's uh, the ebook on the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine. I'm so excited to now have that uh, big work uh, on e-reader. And, of course, uh, Nook over at Barnes & Noble, iTunes, iBooks, iPad, Mac, you know, all of the, uh, all of the Apple uh, uh, pieces are, uh, are uh, it's available on Kindle with Amazon, naturally, Kindle Fire. And all of the e-readers, uh, the encyclopedia is now available on, and you just have to kind of go to, the, uh, to those individual readers to, to, to purchase it. And what a, what a great opportunity for people to just carry it around in their e-reader rather than carrying 11 pounds of a, of a, of a book. Chef, how does authoring books like the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine fit into your legacy as a signature chef? Oh, as far as for, uh, authoring the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine, I think it is my legacy. I think when you look at books like the uh, times Picayune cookbook that's been on the shelf for over 100 years, and now to have the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine that's been so exciting and so popular, no doubt about it. I think that's the book that people will always be looking at as the best work that Chef John Foltz has uh, ever done. And as a chef, I'm so proud to have been the one to author it. And uh, looking back at uh, 300 years of Louisiana's history, it's all right there in the book. Where can viewers go to learn more about the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine? as well as your work in 2014. You, you know, you can uh, go to our website at jfalls.com. You can certainly uh, look at our TV uh, programs. You know, I'm with you all uh, certainly every now and then. WFB carries my show every Tuesday and Thursday. LPB carries my show as well as PBS nationally. And remember, 2014 Christmas season right around the corner, y'all. Christmas is almost here. The Vegetable Cookbook is going to be right there on the stand. Hadn't come up with the title yet. Anyway, always great to be with you all. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for, for calling me. Hey, Happy New Year again. Thanks so much, Chef Fultz, and a Happy New Year to you, too. Thanks for joining us today on the Library Roadshow. My name is Shekiah Norman and I go to West Doe Middle School. My favorite book is Beautiful Creatures because it's a book about a guy named Evan and he meets this girl that he always dreamed about before he even met her. And so it's, re it's a really good book and you can always see me at the main library. Hi, my name is Victoria Dickema and my favorite book is The Hunger Games. I like it because it's awesome and it has a lot of action in it. It's a trilogy, which is cool. I go to Westdale Middle and I'm in the eighth grade and my favorite library is the main library. Hi, my name is Whitney Wyatt. I'm a senior at Terra High School and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is my favorite book. 
It's my favorite book because in the fourth Harry Potter series, they do a lot of, you know, action and stuff like that. Most of the plot is like thickened and it's my favorite book. So what's yours? Hello out there in TV land. Today we have a craft that will give you happy feet. Paper loop penguins. Tamika, let's get our flippers flapping. For this craft, you will need one piece of black construction paper, one small piece of white construction paper, one small piece of orange construction paper, glue, and they're back. I know you've been missing them, googly eyes. First, get your piece of black construction paper. You're going to cut out two strips. One strip should be slightly longer than the other. You're gonna roll them up and form a loop. And then you're gonna paste your two ends together. Do the same for your small strip, and you'll have two loops. Put some glue on one of the loops and join them together. You're gonna want your smaller loop up on top. Next, you're gonna cut two oval flippers, and you're gonna paste them on your bottom loop. You're gonna paste on your googly eyes to the top loop. Finally, you're gonna cut out an oval from the white paper and you're gonna cut out beak and your feet from the orange paper. His cute little toes. Now I gotta get his little beak on it. I love it. And this craft ends happily ever after. Thanks for sharing, ladies. I can envision a whole set of penguins on parade. The Library Roadshow will be back in a moment. And coming up after the break, a spotlight of just a few of the events on the library community calendar, and then page turners to get your new year off to a great start. Stay right there. You're watching the Library Roadshow. <laughs> 